Hello my loves, how are we? I hope you're doing well. It's been such a long time since I filmed in my bedroom. Um, normally because Goldie naps in here, but we've actually just, tran just transitioned her from sleeping in our bedroom to sleeping in her own nursery. She still sleeps in our bedroom overnight, but for her naps and stuff, um, she sleeps up in her nursery. So it's quite nice to have my bedroom back. <laughs> but I hope you're all doing well. I'm back today with a vlog. It's gonna be a vlog over a few days because I'm getting my hair done on Monday. So I thought I would show you that because I think I'm gonna go for quite a big transformation. Well, no, okay, that's very drastic. It's definitely not gonna be a big transformation at all, but really trying to improve my hair health um, and I just feel like this bright blonde is not very maintainable with a baby. I just don't have the time to go to the hairdressers as often as I used to and spend like five, six hours sat in the hairdressers. So I need something that's a little bit more kind of lived in and um, like for example you can see like these roots the way they're growing out. I need that to be able to grow out and not look as like blocky so I think I'm going to do like a root blend and go a little bit darker so obviously like this is my natural color like this kind of like oh, i mean i was about to say dirty blonde but it's not even blonde like we're, we're pretty much brown at this point like a light brown color i'm gonna try and yeah bring that color down a little bit more and then go a little bit darker i think i'm still gonna keep like lightness around the front of my face I've been bright blonde for such a long time now, so I think it's going to be like a massive change for me. And I'm a bit worried as well that if I hate it, it's going to be difficult to go back. So I'm going to chat to my hairdresser about that um, because, yeah, I want the option to be able to go back maybe for the summer. <laughs> but just like for these next few months, I think I just need to like have it a little bit more natural vibes. So we'll see. But yeah, I think I'm going to keep it like blonde at the front, like sort of these pieces. I like, keep them nice and blonde just so I still feel blonde around my face. And I think I'm going to get a bit of a chop as well, like maybe to about here. We're going to hairdressers on Monday, so my mum is up at the minute. She's come up for the weekend so that she can look after Goldie whilst I go and get my hair done. We don't really have many plans today. We actually went to see Peter Kay last night, which was a bit random. But my mum really wanted to see him. Um, he was in Manchester's AO Arena. And so I bought her tickets for her birthday. I'm going to be honest though. <laughs> and I don't want to be seen as like a Peter Kay hater. I didn't think it was that funny. <laughs> I didn't think it was like hilarious laugh out loud kind of comedy. It was just like kind of funny. I don't know. Anyway, um, we still had a really nice time though. So we'd see that last night. So we're just having a bit of a chill day today. Um, Goldie has a swimming lesson tomorrow. So we've started her on swimming lessons. I know she's so young, so it's not really like a lesson, but it's just good to like get her in the pool and get her used to the water. And it's just a nice like activity to do. Kill some time, you know. Sam generally goes in the pool with her. So that's quite nice for them to do that as well. And yeah, we've only had one so far and she really, really likes it. She does love the water though. Like she loves her bath and stuff. So, um, yeah, we've got that tomorrow, which will be nice. But yeah, that's kind of already planned and I'm just sort of hanging around at home. But I've got so many unboxings and things like that to show you. Um, I've been doing quite a lot of ordering, not gonna lie. Um, so I've got quite a lot of like clothes to show you, um, a few like beauty products and stuff like that. So we're gonna get stuck in. Um, but I am gonna head downstairs to make some lunch now. So I've just come downstairs to grab some lunch and it reminded me that I want to talk to you about HelloFresh because look at what we're having this weekend i don't know if we're gonna have this tonight or tomorrow night um but it's the rump steak and truffled dauphinoise with red wine jus and garlicky green beans like how good does that look you guys will know we've been getting hello fresh for absolutely years now um and i've been working with them for quite a long time which i'm super proud of um but more recently i have been pushing the boat out a little bit with hello fresh because basically they have all different kind of meal options so they have like super quick ones they have like calorie smart ones they have family friendly ones and they also do a premium range um and obviously now we have goldie we don't go out anywhere near as much for like meals we don't go out for dinner anywhere near as much like we used to go out most weekends for like on a saturday or a sunday go out for some dinner together we don't do that like barely at all anymore so instead i thought well i can just bring these really nice meals to me um and make them ourselves so on a weekend i tend to choose one of their premium meals and it kind of feels like we're getting that real nice like restaurant luxury quality food but getting to have it at home we don't have to worry about getting a babysitter or anything like that um so yeah we've got this one this weekend which i'm very, very excited about so i do have a discount code for hello fresh you guys know by now i'm gonna pop the qr code on the screen here for you to scan if you're watching it on a tv and just pop your phone up and scan it and then you can try hello fresh out for yourselves so this is the app here so this is for next week so i can just go through 
and choose from so many options and I absolutely love doing this. I find it so fun. So yeah, big HelloFresh fans over here. So it all arrives to your door in a box. I actually just took the box out for a second so I can't actually show you the box, but you've seen it before. It arrives in a cardboard box and then inside there, let me show you. And then inside the box are these bags and they're numbered and that equates to the recipe. Um, so that's the steak one there and that has all of your ingredients inside there. So it's so, so simple and easy to follow. Like literally anybody could follow it. It's so good. It takes such a weight off my mind and yeah, I just could not be more thankful for HelloFresh, especially since becoming a mum. I loved it before, but I love it even more now. Baby girl is awake from her nap. Hello, darling girl. Hiya. <laughs> How did you sleep? How did you sleep, my love? Oh, look at your hair, it's all crazy. It's all crazy. Hello, hello. Hiya, 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 hiya. Hello, darling. Did you have a good nap? Did you? Did you dream? Bottle. I said I had quite a few unboxings and stuff like that to show you. I have a probably one of the biggest Netta Porter orders I've ever done. Um, I am working with Netta Porter over on Instagram, um, so that is um, I got a voucher for that work, but I also have spent my own money on this order as well. Um, I have a lot of events coming up in the summer, like Hindus and weddings and various things like that, and so I'm starting to think about um like dresses and stuff now because i know otherwise i'm just going to get to it and i'm going to be really stressed out and thinking i haven't got anything to wear because none of my old stuff fits me so um yeah i can't really see it fitting me come the summer either so that is what is in i mean this box is so oh my God. <laughs> so there's this one here oh. and then there and then there's another one down there so I think we'll just get straight into it and I've got my mum and Goldie here and they're gonna give me some opinions as well. So let's go. <laughs> Goldie has now discovered that she can like control her own bottle. So she'll be like trying to like hit it out of her mouth and stuff like that. Um, just like as a game. Nest Porter also have a really good sale on at the minute and I think, I'm not sure if it will still be on when I post this video, but they have a code which gets you 20% off the sale price as well. So some stuff is down like 70, 80% because of it. So some of this stuff is also sale purchases too. First box is an Adidas box. I am so obsessed with my Adidas Sambas, um, my Adidas Specials, kind of like the only footwear I'm really wearing at the minute. And I saw these on Nest Porter and i just thought they were so cool i love the color they're the gazelles um although they look a little bit small what size did i order them in i got three and a half so yeah we'll see um but yeah they're these i love these i think they look really really cool with like blue denim but i also think they work really well with like leggings um and yeah i just think it's a nice little pop of color i don't often do a lot of color um as you guys will know but I do like like a green kind of colour because I think it does go quite nicely with neutrals. Like it goes nice with like grey that I'm wearing and stuff. So yeah, that was my thought process behind these. What do you think of these? Do you like? Love the colour. Oh, love the colour. Mm -hmm. I do. Wow. You know I like green. So yeah, they're really cute. I like them. <clears throat> oh, you want to watch Mummy's haul? Yeah. You want to watch Mummy's haul? Are <laughs> you smiling? Are you excited? Yeah, when you're older, we'll go shopping together and we'll do hauls for each other. <laughs> These were a sale purchase. They had gone down really low in the sale and then obviously there was the extra 20% off. I don't know if they're gonna fit me. They did look quite big, but I just, it's so hard to gauge what size I am at the moment. Um, mm. But they're, ignore goldies first. <laughs> yeah, so I picked up these jeans from a gold. I have some a gold jeans from pre-pregnancy that I absolutely love, but they just don't fit me. And I don't know how long it's gonna be until they fit me. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. I have some of gold jeans from pre-pregnancy. They don't fit me. I don't know if they ever will again. So I thought I'd take this opportunity while they're in the sale. <laughs> Goldie's new trick is blowing raspberries. Take this opportunity whilst they're in the sale to pick up some more, but I think 
they are potentially going to be too big. I'll try them on anyway. They are the 90s pinch waist high rise straight. But I really like a gold jeans and I really like redone jeans. Um, they're just really good quality and they're very like vintagey style with the wash and stuff. So I got those. Next up, I've got a sports bra. This is actually from Spanx. I didn't actually realise that Spanx did um, this kind of thing. But again, none of my old sports bras fit me because my back has just got <laughs> so much wider since pregnancy. And I am working out quite a lot more at the minute. I've been doing like quite a lot of Pilates and stuff. So I wanted to pick a new sports bra and I just liked how this was really really simple it looks very comfy as well it's just got like that at the back so yeah that's the sports bra racer back racer back thank you no. <laughs> <laughs> you're really making me laugh um yeah so sorry next up I got this jogger set it's from the brand sporty and rich I don't actually own anything from them but I think their pieces look really really good quality um and again it's very like vintagey vibes like vintage athleisure vibe so what does it say there there we go there's like that logo there and actually i think this would look really nice with oh these as well i think like the gray would go really nicely it's got like navy writing on it as well 1994 the year I... no i wasn't born in 1994 <laughs> i was about to say 1994 the year i was born <laughs> Just 994, irrelevant now. And they are the joggers, so elasticated waist, and then they go into like a cuffed hem. Um, I always find this sporting rich stuff is often sold out everywhere, but Netsport actually had a really good selection with loads of sizes. Um, so I got that, and then I also picked up a t shirt just because, especially for the days where I'm just at home with Goldie, I just live in a t shirt and leggings, um, and I like the like oversized vibes. So I got this one has the green logo in the middle and again I feel like that will go really nicely so these trainers are just going with everything okay so next up I have always wanted a Frankie shop blazer I've seen them on quite a few girls on insta and I just love the like oversized vibes of them I did try one a few years ago um but I just couldn't get my size in it and it just swamped me you do have to really size down in these blazers so first up I saw this one in the sale again i've sized down but this does look like really quite big anyway so i saw this one in the sale and then again there was the extra 20 percent off so it actually worked out at quite a good price so yeah it's this really nice kind of like dusty pink color and i thought this would be really nice going into like spring summer I can wear it obviously with like jeans and stuff but i can also wear it a bit dressier with like little dresses or even in the summer over like a white dress or something i don't know just thought it'd be nice but i am looking at it and thinking that does look really big and that's a size extra small small so, I mean, I like a big blazer, but I don't know if I want them that big. What do you think? It's a lovely colour. It's nice, isn't that? Extra small, small. Such good quality. Or extra, extra small. No, extra small, stroke small. Oh. Let me try it. Okay, and then I got one more Frankie Shop blazer because you just can't ever have too many blazers. And I literally <laughs> live in blazers, um, and particularly grey ones. I just think they're so, so handy in your wardrobe you think oh no this is annoying oh no all good um yeah i think you just can never have too many gray blazers so this is the exact same style and fit as the pink one but in a gray color and i think this will be good for um like wear with all black outfits but i also think it would work nicely with denim like this kind of denim um but then also i think blazers like this work so nicely on top of like active wear so you can wear it over like leggings or you can wear it over joggers and stuff and it just smartens up the whole vibe so yeah i picked that up as well so i think this is going to be quite annoying for me to show because i'm pretty sure that i bought the last one on less porter but i will link it anyway just in case it comes back in or whatever like with returns or whatever oh hang on sounds ringing me hello hi are you okay Goldie's face went like <laughs> when I pulled that out then. <laughs> Maybe because it was so bright. It is bright, isn't it? This is a very good baby sensory dress. So it's from Cult Gaia, and I would never normally buy a dress from Cult Gaia, um, but it was in the sale again and it was really heavily reduced. I think it was like 60, 70% off. Um, I feel like it's not, this isn't really doing much, but it looks mm -hmm. really nice on. I'll post a picture of the model wearing it if I can because it looks so good on her. It probably won't look as good on me. What do you think? I think that looks so lovely. Yeah? Do you like it? I love the sleeves. Let me show you on the model because it looks really nice on her. Oh, it's Wait. short. Yeah, it's, it is short. 
that looks like that. <laughs> Sorry, Goldie's taken to like screeching. Um, so yeah, we will try it on and see. I don't know, like I said, my sizing at the minute is just well off. I just don't know what my size is. So I don't know if it's gonna fit me, but I did think I could get it tailored if it's too big. Are you okay? Are you okay? Um, or if it's too small, then obviously I'll have to send it back. Is but... it linen? So it kind of looks like a linen. Yeah. Okay, this is a very like treat yourself order. But I also picked up a Loewe vest top. Now these were obviously quite big last year and I wanted one last year, but I was like, oh, I don't know um, if I wear it that much. I don't know if it's just a trend and stuff, but I feel like they're still in this year. And I do think like with the stuff that I wear, this is just gonna be so handy. So it's literally just a white vest top. That's all it is. I have it in black and white and I was umming and ahhing between the two. So I'm still not 100% on the white. I might switch it for the black, but I did think like, just imagine this vest top these jeans <laughs> you see them um, and then like the blazer that i just showed you like either the pink one or the gray one and then these shoes like i've got a full outfit here i just thought that was nice and i thought it would be a handy one for layering in like the spring and then also in the summer just wearing it on its own with like some shorts or whatever so yeah i think that what do you think you're just gonna say it's a plain vest top but... <laughs> and then very lastly i got this necklace so i used to have a g necklace when goldie was born but i unfortunately lost it um so i decided to pick up another one because i really liked wearing like a little g and this is so so dainty and sweet it's from the brand stone and strand where's the yeah stone and strand i don't know if you can see that but they do gorgeous jewelry pieces like so so nice really really special pieces so yeah, it's this little G and I really loved the chain it was on as well. Don't know if that's gonna focus. There we go. So yeah, I just thought that was so, so lovely and it can replace my other one and I think I can wear it like alongside this necklace that I wear all the time. So yeah, do you like? I love it, it's lovely, it's lovely isn't it? I know, it's really pretty, yeah. it like glistens, doesn't yeah. it? And I like how kind of small the little G is. Do you like it too? <laughs> That was the longest raspberry ever. That was such a long raspberry. So they are all the pieces that I picked up. I will leave um, everything that I can linked in the description box down below. As I said, some of them were sale pieces, so they might not all be in stock, but some of them weren't. So I'll leave everything down below anyway. And yeah, I might try on some bits now. So I will pop in some clips. Okay, so this is the pink dress on i think i'd probably wear my hair up with it or something and it's a little bit creased obviously and it is also a bit big <laughs> it's a bit big around the um chest area um but i like it i think it's cute it's got pockets as well which is a winner i don't know let me know what you guys think i think it's quite different um it's definitely a little bit tight around my waist as well but um these weddings aren't until like five months away so thinking I might lose a little bit of weight around my waist um, and then I'll get the back taken in a little bit just to make it fit perfectly but and then this needs like ironing flat I don't know what do we think I think the sleeves are like amazing like there's so much detail around here and if I keep it really simple like I said I'll probably tie my hair up um, and keep it simple with like some like, neutral heels what do we think so this is the jogger set on and I think it's actually like the loveliest fit and I really like this kind of vintage style writing here um, and the trousers fit really nicely as well. Trousers? Joggers. They fit really nicely. They're like a good level of like slouchiness but not being too oversized which means that I can pair like the oversized blazer with it and it won't look too like baggy if you know what I mean. They're really comfy as well so yeah I like them. So I've just popped on the grey blazer with this look, which I think makes it look a lot more smarter. And this would be like a great kind of run in to the shops kind of vibe outfit or like just day to day kind of casual wear. Um, so yeah, I popped that on and then I've also popped on the green shoes. They're a little bit creaky at the minute just while the leather is like softening up. But I really like them. I think they look so cool, especially with the grey joggers. Um, yeah, I just really like them. Like I said, I think they're a good colour to wear with neutrals yeah very very happy with these super cute so i have the jeans on now and they are a little bit too big i think i just need one size down so i'm gonna go and see 
if they have the size on the website, but I really like how they look with the green trainers, and that looks really cool. Um, and then again, I've just got the same t-shirt on with the blazer combo, so quite a few different combos I'm getting out of like a few pieces. So yeah, I think this looks really nice too. And now I have on the Loewe vest top with the pink blazer and the blue jeans, which I think looks really, really nice together. This look is screaming spring summer to me and I'm so excited. I'm literally living for the days that we can go out in just a blazer. Um, but I really like how this is just like poking through with the blazer. I think it looks really, really cute. Love that, so, so nice. I would say this vest top is a little bit thin for the price. Um, so yeah, just something to bear in mind that maybe if um, you are wanting to wear it like without a blazer and stuff on top, then the black one might be a better option just because I do think you can kind of see your bra through this vest top, although I haven't got a nude bra on, so I could try that. Um, but yeah, I just like it as like a layering piece anyway, worn underneath, just like that. So I also have the little tiny G necklace on. I feel like it's gonna be hard to see it because it is so, so little. Oh my God, why are we still zooming? Stop zooming. <laughs> Um, hang on, there we go. How cute is that? Oh, is that focus again? How lovely is that? Like, I love the way the chain sparkles. I think it's so, so nice. So yeah, I just popped that on there. Obviously they do all of the initials as well. It's a lovely gift as well for someone, I think. So my mum has just taken Goldie out for a little walk. Um, I feel like when my mum's here, I just like try and get as much work done as I possibly can because obviously when she's not here, it's quite difficult to get anything done. So it's such a big help to have my mum here. So I'm just gonna sit down now and do some editing that I need to do uh, to get that sent over to a brand today. It's actually Saturday today, but um, it's quite a tight deadline. So I'm gonna get that over to her today. My mum's saying that me and Sam should go to the cinema tonight because she's like, You're, I'm here, like you may as well, like you've got like a free babysitter. Um, you may as well head out to the cinema. So we're considering maybe going to the cinema later, but I know this sounds bad, but I'm just so tired. I kind of just want to like chill and do nothing, but cinema is not exactly like a strenuous activity. So maybe we should. But also we need to watch the Traitors final. I haven't seen the final yet because it was last night when we were out watching Peter K. So I've been trying to avoid like TikTok and everything today because I don't want it ruined for me. Obviously by the time this goes up, I'm sure you guys will have seen it because I think this is going up in like a couple weeks time. But if you haven't seen the Traitors, I would advise you now to go on BBC iPlayer and go and watch it. Watch the last season as well, although this season is so much better than the last season because this season, like, the traitors are just, like, throwing each other under the bus, which they didn't really do in season one. They kind of did a little bit, but it's really, really good. I really recommend you watch it. We watched that For Me Once um, on Netflix that everybody's been talking about. It's got Michelle Keegan in. It was really good. I wouldn't say it was, like, amazing, but it was a good watch, like, you know, just one of those ones that was just like, it was quite gripping, I'd say, and it did have quite a good twist at the end. So we've been watching that. We watched The Couple Next Door, which is on channel four, I think. Again, I wouldn't say it was like incredible, but again, it did have quite a good twist at the end. Yeah, it was it was definitely a gripping one. Um, what else have we been watching recently? Obviously the new Love Island out is out, Love Island All Stars, but to be honest, we watched a couple episodes, but we didn't really watch any more. I kind of feel as though Love Island might be a bit done. I don't know. I just feel like they've overdone it and there's just too much of it around now and now it's just got a little bit boring, like it's not the same anymore as it was. I don't know if anyone else agrees with that. But anyway, I need to get on with editing now. This little set I'm wearing is from, it's a really good angle that. It's from H&M, but I got it back when I was pregnant, so quite a while ago, but it's so cosy. I love these kind of sets for just lounging around the house. Mum's just come home from her walk and she bought me some tulips. How lovely. I'd say these are probably my favourite flower. They're so nice. Hey. Daddy's home from work. Come here, Dad. 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 Big raspberry. Big raspberry. Just sitting here with our first baby. Raph. No, no, Lick. No, Raph. Stop. Raphie, stop. Aww. Give me kisses for the camera. Mwah. I feel like this house is impossible to vlog because it's just always so noisy <laughs> in so many ways. Hello everyone, it is Monday today. Sorry I didn't vlog 
much more over the weekend it's just a little bit hectic on a weekend but yeah it's monday today and i am just about to take goldie to a baby class so it's like a music kind of baby class so i'm gonna go there it's only 45 minute class so i'm gonna take her there you can probably hear her toys in the background i'm going to take her there and then come back home put her down for a nap i'm gonna try and get a workout in on the peloton and then i'm going to get my hair done <gasps> which is i'm so excited because it just is looking so like desperate to get sorted but at the same time i'm really nervous because as i said i'm going to go a bit darker and i'm scared i'm going to hate it but we'll see i've also got this road lip treatment on my lips i just feel like it's so nice it's like a balm but a gloss it's really really lovely so yeah go Hayley Bieber. right i'm gonna get myself ready now i'm gonna wear just wearing this grey and no hoodie, Lululemon leggings <laughs> as always, and I'm gonna pop on my green trainers. I think that I got the other day, and yeah, we'll head off. Obviously, I'm not gonna film the class because I can't do that, but it will just be lots of like singing and all of that fun sensory stuff. So yeah, I'll chat to you guys after. She's back again in the exact same spot as I have been for the last clue. Start that again. I'm back again in the what? Why can't I talk? I'm back again in the exact same spot that I have been in the last few clips. Sorry about that. It is going to change up soon. Don't worry. But I'm actually just getting ready to film because Goldie is down for her like longer nap of the day, so she should be asleep for about two hours today for this bit. So yeah, hopefully I'll be able to get some filming done. Um, my mum has left, which is very sad. I always really struggle when my mum leaves because um, she's just such an amazing help when she's here um, she's just so much for us um, and then obviously when she's not here we don't have anyone else to help so it's kind of like go from like loads of support to like nothing so yeah I do really struggle it takes me a while to get back into like the swing of doing everything myself basically <laughs> so I did actually film a clip showing you my hair yesterday but it was so dark I don't know I'm going to bother including it and I think I'm just going to show you now so I did actually get this done yesterday so it might not be looking like you know as nice as it did <laughs> when I left the hairdressers um but yeah, as you can tell, I didn't go super, super dark. Um, I was speaking to my hairdresser about it and she was like, if you go from bright white, like ashy blonde to quite dark, you're gonna hate it because you're gonna find that transition like quite shocking. She was like, so let's go slowly. Um, she was like, what I'm gonna do today is just use like your natural root color and then splice that in between your highlights basically so a little bit less highlights because it's going to be like a natural root color sort of put in between um which felt really weird for me to like have i don't know to like use my root color but actually i kind of decided that i don't mind my root color so like my root color is that kind of like dark color you see um going through my hair now but it's just so much more natural and i just know it's going to grow out so much nicer let me show you the back as well that's so what the back looks like, hopefully you can see am I in shot. Yeah, that's what the back looks like. Um, so hang on, let me turn the light on. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with it. I also had some taken off the length, not loads, but I think it was about like down here before. So I had a little bit taken off just to keep it feeling nice and fresh. And yeah, I'm really, really happy. We still do have like a nice sort of blonde streak at the front there. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the uh, finished hair. So, as I said, I'm going to get on and film this job that I've got now. Hopefully it shouldn't take me too long because then I'm hoping to sit down with you guys and um, answer a few questions that I got from my Instagram. Um, and I've also got a H&M order to open. Most of it's stuff for Goldie, but there is a coat in there. Um, so, yes, I'm going to crack on with this filming now and get back to you. My dressing gown, I always get asked questions on it, it's from the white company. Let's get on with this job while Scoldy is still asleep. I think we're a little bit wonky, but I can't change it, so we're just gonna have to go with it. So I mentioned that I did a H&M order. Sorry if I'm playing with my hair, I've just had it done, so it's very like in my face, do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, I did a little H&M order and I just thought while I'm vlogging, I may as well show you. I know this vlog has been very like unboxing kind of heavy, um, but it's just like bits and bobs that I've been sort of collecting throughout the last couple months really. Now this H&M order is a little bit weird so I've got a puffer coat and then I've got swimwear, but that's just how it seems to have worked out. I am, we are going on holiday, um, not until the summer, but I always find that like the baby swimwear sells out, um, especially on H&M. So I just picked them up while I saw them. But I got Goldie this little swimsuit. 
How cute is that? And it's got that like UV, what's it called? UV protection, UPF 50 in it as well. And it's just like a little seersucker, pink swimsuit. Oh, my battery's flashing. That's nice. I'm gonna get through as much as I can with the battery flashing and then I'll go change it. Um, and then I also got uh, these little dungarees for the summer because I actually can't believe how I haven't got our own dungarees because I love dungarees on babies and I think they're so cute. So it's these little floral dungarees and I just thought they were so sweet. Um, and I just popped like a little t-shirt or more obviously like a bodysuit or something underneath them. I also got Goldie a swim hat because I just thought that was going to be useful Ooh, when it comes to it. So it's just like one of those little swim hats with the cap in pink um and then i did actually get myself some swimwear oh hang on i'll get onto this one next um so again this is a little like summery option for goldie but i just thought it was really sweet so it's a little waffle knit jumper and then it comes with little bottoms so i thought for the like days when maybe it's a little bit chillier on holiday or even in the uk summer this would be a good option so she can have her legs out but she's covered in the arms oh yeah this i got to put underneath the um what am i saying put underneath the dungarees so they're just like ribbed bodysuits and i just thought that that would work quite well underneath this i also then got goldie some little bows um just because that girl's hair is wild like i don't know how to tame it because it just sticks up constantly so i thought i could try a little bow in her hair um it's quite it's quite stretchy so i feel like that will be fine now um but yeah pink one and then this little i really didn't think i was gonna be such a pink mum but i'm a very pink mum at the minute um this floral one as well i thought the floral was really lovely love that i'll try them on her when she wakes up okay and then i got some swimwear for me um which i will not be showing on <laughs> now it's no secret that i have very much struggled with my body postpartum i really really have and i think it's something that a lot of women struggle with postpartum and currently the thought of being on holiday in a swimsuit is slightly terrifying no it's more than slightly terrifying it's very terrifying i'm really scared so I saw these um, swimsuits on H&M and I just thought I would give them a go because they're like particularly good for like your tummy, like they're kind of like sculpting swimwear. I love my Hansa G's so much and to be fair I do still find them flattering because I actually wore them when we went to a spa recently. Um, I do still find them really flattering um, but I just thought I'd try out a few other styles as well. First one I got is this one, a bit of a jazzy print for me, not sure if I'm going to keep this because... I normally keep it quite like simple with my swimwear but then I did think like printed maybe would be better because it wouldn't it would like maybe hide things I don't know but the reason I went for this one is because it has this like ruching at the sides there and I just always think ruching around the tummy is just so much more flattering than not so yeah went for that one it's like a square neck double straps and the ruching detail I feel like I don't know I wonder if they did this in like a plain colour I might have bought it actually, but if I didn't, I would be interested if I like the shape of this to go and see if there is a plain colour. But yeah, so I got that one. And then the other ones I got are just plain black because I do feel like black is the most flattering, personally. I know there's going to be so many people out there that are like, don't be silly, like just wear what you want, blah, blah, blah. but it's just, yeah, I'm just not that comfortable. Okay, I don't know I'm going to like this. Um, next up I got this one, which is a plain black one. It has this like frill going down the front, but it feels quite thin and i feel like around the tummy area you want it to feel thick because otherwise it's just going to show everything it has got like a little ruching at the back but i mean i don't really feel as though that's necessary i feel like we need ruching at the front it does kind of have a little bit of it actually but i don't know just by feeling that i'm not sure how i'm gonna feel about it and i know i'm gonna put myself in a really bad mood trying these on anyway so i'm not gonna try them on yet because <laughs> i'm in a good mood today so i don't want to ruin my day Oh, I bought two sizes in that, sorry. So that was the 16 and then this is the 14. I think the 14 probably looks more my size. So yeah, I don't know, we won't write it off. We'll try it, but yeah, we'll see. And then this is the last one I got. 
and this one I think is like one of those yeah it's meant to be like one of those shaping ones so yeah this middle section is really really thick I just think that's gonna be too big for me around the boobs maybe this is my problem I'm so like different shapes everywhere so yeah I don't know but it's just like a black swimsuit like that and then as you can see it does have the ruching at the side and then this section is really thick like it's like double layered so I do think that is going to be the most flattering on um I got this in a 16 because I am about 14 at the minute and everyone on the review said to size up but I do think the boob area is going to be way too big because I don't really have any boobs and then I got a puffer jacket because I am on the hunt for a nice puffer that I can wear that's not my dog walking puffer so I have a dog walking puffer um it's from Arquette it's the best puffer in the whole entire world it's so comfy it's so warm it's just lovely but it's covered in mud I have washed it um and the mud has kind of come out but it is still there and every single time I take Raph out I always get covered in mud always because he jumps up on me um like when I've got a treat or whatever so it just always gets covered in mud and I can't when I washed it it took me so long I had to wash it and then I had to put it in a tumble dryer with tennis balls to get like all the fluff to like the padding to kind of pad out again and I put that in the tumble dryer I reckon about 10 times um probably could have bought a new one for the amount of um, money I would have spent on um running the tumble dryer but anyway so then I was like right okay I'm gonna ha keep that as my dog walking one because I actually bought that about four or five years ago now and then I'm gonna just get a separate one so like when I take Goldie out for example or whatever it is I can still wear a puffer and I don't just look really like scruffy in my dog walking one so I decided to get like a bit of a shorter one so I got this one from H&M it's giving bin bag right now but once it's on and it pads out a little bit I'm hoping it's going to look nice. Let's get it on and see. I don't know what size to go for because I do you find H&M in their coats do come up quite big. This seems big. I've got a small in this. Okay, let's put you over here maybe. Excuse the mess behind me as always. But this is the puffer. I actually really like it, you know? And I think it's like the perfect level of oversize. Like, yeah, I do look like Michelin Man, but that is kind of the vibe, you know? Only thing about it is it hasn't got a hood. And when you're walking with a pram, you just can't hold an umbrella. So I don't know if that's very practical. But I suppose I could wear a hat. <laughs> um, but yeah, I actually really like that. It's very pleasantly surprised. I think they had this in a couple other colours as well, but I've just gone for the classic black. Um, yeah, I think that's really nice. I think that has um, filled the like smarter puffer hole that I felt like I had. <laughs> so I also thought whilst I'm here, I asked on Instagram for some questions um, because I just thought I hadn't done a Q&A over on YouTube in a really long time. So I thought I would just like rally through a few questions. It's quite a long vlog already, so I'm probably not gonna do that many, but we'll just see see how far we get whilst goldie is still sleeping okay so i'm gonna try and answer them quite quickly as well because i know i tend to ramble first one is is parenthood harder than you thought yes absolutely 100 percent harder than i could ever have even imagined and i don't know if there's a single parent out there that would say otherwise um i have a lot of experience with children and babies i used to work in a nursery and it was like my first job um, when I was 16 and I've also looked after my friends babies a lot um, been around my sister's babies and children a lot so I felt as though I was someone that was quite experienced like with looking after babies and children but obviously lo looking after someone else's for a day a weekend whatever it is is very very different to having your own and that absolute like constant mental and emotional like incessant non-stop feeling and anxiety and everything like that doesn't like come as strongly unless it's your own child if that makes sense i don't know i don't know if that really makes sense what i'm trying to say so yeah i definitely have found it so much harder 100 percent um i definitely think it's getting easier i'm not gonna lie those first few weeks of having a newborn for me was like Oh my god it was the hardest thing i've ever experienced in my whole entire life and i look back at those times now and just think like 
oh my god <laughs> it was so 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 hard but it's got so much easier i definitely think around three months was for me when it got easier um and i started to actually really enjoy it um but yeah it's definitely way harder than i ever imagined and i don't think anything can really prepare you other than just doing it um but it's also the best thing in the whole entire world so you know <laughs> It's, I don't want to scare anyone because all the hard times are so worth it, but it definitely is hard um, and harder than I did think. I also think as well, sorry, I know I said I was going to be quick here, but I'd say half the battle in becoming a mum is losing yourself and finding like a new version of yourself, which obviously when you're looking after other people's children or whatever it is, that doesn't even come into the equation. Um, so for me, like dealing with everything sort of postpartum like the hormones body changes life changes like even just things like friendships and things like that like this it just oh my god it just absolutely rocks your world and i think that as i said has been like almost half the battle um and half and like just takes so much getting used to um so that i found a lot harder than i ever anticipated finding hard um particularly friendships um I found it hard to like maintain my friendships with people that don't have children because especially at the moment like obviously my entire life revolves around Goldie and like just everything revolves around her so I do find it hard to be the same as before in friendships and obviously when people don't have children I worry that like they don't understand that and yeah, that's just, I feel like I could make a whole video about like friendships since having a baby. Yeah, it's, it's definitely, yeah, it is definitely a lot harder than I thought in lots of ways. But it's also maybe even more amazing than I ever thought it would be as well. So yeah. Would I like any more children? This question comes up a lot and it's also something that comes up a lot in my, my head as well. So I've always said that I would like at least two um, children, maybe three. That's what I've always said. Um, but after having Goldie, I do think like, how on earth would I manage with another child? Like she takes up every single second of my life. <laughs> so how would I even like function? How would I cope? How, like, how, I just don't even know how I'd do it. Like I find it hard enough to like find dedicated time to give to Rafi, our dog. So I'm like, how would I manage to, sh to like share my time between two people? How would I manage to share that like mental load and capacity between two? and I don't know I just I don't I think I definitely am not saying we won't be having another baby because I do think in the future I will start to feel ready um but I definitely don't feel ready right now and then it worries me as well because I'm like well what if you know I leave it a couple years and I finally feel like I'm getting back to me and myself and you know all of that kind of thing and then I have to go through this whole process again and like lose myself then that scares me a little bit as well but then at the same time like I, I do really want Goldie to have a sibling and I would really like to have more than one child if we're obviously lucky enough so it's like a constant thing that goes around my head all the time I would like more children but right now I can't even imagine how that would work or like how another child would fit into our situation um and i suppose probably everyone feels like that until it happens and then they do just fit into your situation but yeah i definitely can't imagine it right now and i definitely will not be having a short a short a small age gap between my babies my friend has a year age gap between her babies and i just think she is like superhuman <laughs> like i don't know how you do it and i i literally it's incredible and it's amazing because they have her babies have such a beautiful bond but wow <laughs> it's a lot okay this one's interesting it says have you decided to not show your daughter's face on instagram i've just made this decision too yeah so i actually kind of want to talk about this when i was pregnant a few people did ask me like you know how do you think you're gonna feel with sharon goldie and stuff like that and i feel like you just can't answer that accurately until obviously you have your baby because at the time I was like oh I don't know how I'm gonna feel like I think I'm probably gonna feel fine about it like I share my whole life on the internet like, it is you know just part of my life that I probably share and when she was first born for some reason I was okay about it um and you'll probably remember I did share pictures and they're you know they're still on my Instagram now and I shared on YouTube and stuff but as she's got older and I guess as she's developed into like more like an actual little human um I've just started to feel very protective over her and also 
just started to feel a little bit anxious about sharing her face on socials and I don't want this to be like a big thing and it to be like oh my god like you know why won't you let us see Goldie and stuff like that because it's not like that but the internet is a very 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 scary place it's, it's a very terrifying place <laughs> and I just just feel very protective over her and I don't like the idea of once you put a picture or a video or something like that out into the internet you've lost it like it is not just yours anymore and people can take that and do with it whatever they want to do like and you have no idea and that really terrifies me like I'm a, I'm a control freak and I think like not being able to have control over like who has access to like my daughter really scares me I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna sit here and say you know this is how I'm gonna do it forever like things might change the way I feel might change I don't know but at the minute that is what I have decided to do and it does make me sad because I'm like oh like there's so many lovely amazing people on the internet and like people that have supported me for so long and you know like she's bloody cute like I want to show you guys how cute she is <laughs> but at the same time I just get really panicky and whenever I have shared her face I've just ended up deleting it like 20 minutes later or something because I just get really nervous about it and it just it just worries me even like ai and things like that just it just is all quite scary i don't like the idea i've had people on instagram like impersonating me before using pictures of goldie and that really scares me as well so i don't know i just think as a mum there is so much to be anxious about and if i can like reduce something that i find like anxiety inducing then i should definitely do it um i'd like to know like your opinions on the whole situation though because I follow lots of girls that do share their children's faces and share quite a lot about their children and I love following them like I find it really like lovely and like heartwarming like seeing all their like gorgeous family pictures and stuff like that but I don't know I just feel quite like anxious about it all I definitely like I still share Goldie like sometimes I'll share her like side on and um or like really far away and things like that yeah that's just how I feel at the moment I don't know maybe it will change but yeah like i said i'd be interested to hear your views on it as well i actually asked for questions and assumptions on this like q a so somebody has like done an assumption that said that you went to a private school and i didn't go to a private school i went to a normal state school all the way through um and yeah i've got okay i have so many questions about like goldie's routine and stuff like that and i could try and film like a whole day in the life video maybe but i have a lot of questions about like when did we implement a routine and um, what is the routine we started a routine with goldie when she was i think she was about 10 weeks old i always before i had a baby i was like i'm not going to be a mum that gets into a routine i want to just be able to go and do whatever i want whenever i want goldie will just fit into my life i have a full 180 on that situation because for me routine is the best thing ever so i decided to get into a routine when she was about eight to ten weeks old just because i really felt as though i needed it like i needed some understanding of like when was going to be a good time for her to sleep and when i should be giving her bottles and i just as i said i'm a bit of a control freak and i like having like kind of not rules but i like having something to follow so yeah i started a routine around that age and that was just more like a daytime nap routine i didn't put her up to bed by herself until she was at like a fair bit older maybe around like three months or something um she's just just watching the monitor and she's like loves kicking her legs and stuff around at the minute yeah so i started i followed this account on instagram called blissful baby expert um it was an account my friend told me to follow and she basically on her highlights posted on her instagram highlights posted like uh, suggested routines and she does it by like each age so it'll be like i don't know from like six to 16 weeks and i think she does like sort of three to six months like it's all kind of done like that and so i just use those routines but you can also get the huckleberry app and that's really good at giving you like um a rough routine depending on your baby's age and like stuff like that and it like kind of works by wake windows um so yeah i did the huckleberry app but i also followed lisa's routines on instagram for me i just felt so much more confident when we got into a bit of a routine because i just knew what was going on before i just felt like the everything was a bit chaotic before that which is fine and that is what having a newborn is about like it is kind of just all like you just go with the flow but as she got a bit older i just felt like we both needed that me and goldie so yeah i followed her routine so her current routine at the moment 
we get up in the morning at about half seven, seven depending on when she wakes up. And then she's on about two hour wake windows at her age. So we'll sort of go downstairs, have a bottle, play, all that kind of thing, get her ready for the day. Um, and then she'll go back down for another nap and depending on what time she's woken up, but around nine, half nine-ish. And then she has like a 45 to an hour sleep then. And then she gets up, has another bottle. She has another nap um, at about 12-ish, but that can vary again, depending on like how long she's had in her morning nap. Another nap about 12-ish um, until about two. And then she gets up, has a bottle, <laughs> does some more playing. Um, and then she has like another little power nap between four and five and then she goes out to bed for about half six seven so that is our current routine and it has worked really really well for us it's kind of like what we stick to and she does all of those naps generally in her cot um or if i'm out and about like this is a thing like somebody said like i feel very like housebound with a routine and yeah it is definitely it does mean that you are stuck in the house quite a lot but i do try like a couple days a week to try and implement that routine like when i'm out and about so say if i went like to the shops or whatever i will bring like anything that she needs to fall asleep so like her white noise machine i use for her to fall asleep like basically sleepy cues so like her white noise machine that i use for her to fall asleep and like her sleepy little she has like a comforter so i bring that out with me and then therefore i try and do the nap on the go so if i know i'm going to be out like in the middle of the day i'll bring those with me and then as it gets to roughly around nap time, I'll like lie her cram down flat and give her her comforter and put the white noise machine on and get her to sleep out and about. She never sleeps for as long when she's out and about. Obviously there's loads of distractions. She can hear things, etc. It's not as dark, things like that. But I still just try and get that nap in anyway and roughly stick to the same routine. She didn't sleep for longer than like half an hour, like naps until she was about four months old. So if you are very much like in that like three month, period and you're tr because they don't learn how to like join up their sleep cycles basically until they're a little bit older so once she got to about four months she did learn how to join up her sleep cycles and that's when she started doing like the longer naps basically so yeah that's generally what i try to do at the moment and it's working really well for us actually and i feel like much more in control and she's so much happier because she's getting good sleeps i'm getting a little bit of time to myself like now when i'm able to work and things so yeah all in all i am really really happy that i started a routine and it hasn't been as um like i was really nervous to start a routine because i was like i don't want my life to feel like really regimented and things like that but actually it's just made me feel so much more in control okay i'm gonna do one last question because i said i wouldn't like wrap it on and um i have okay this last one says was it diff was it a difficult decision to share so openly about pregnancy and postpartum it's funny because i never even thought about doing anything else like i never thought about not sharing like so openly and honestly and truthfully about how I was feeling in pregnancy and postpartum. And sometimes I do wonder like, do I overshare a bit? Like, is it is it too much? Like, but I just could never be someone that doesn't, like isn't honest and open about like things I'm struggling with or things I'm finding hard or I just couldn't pretend that like everything's amazing because I just think that's so damaging to, people who are like looking at it from afar and I don't know I just for me I just found so much comfort in accounts on Instagram that were really really honest and truthful about their experiences and I just always knew that that would be something like that I would do I've never been someone to like pretend everything's amazing or to like sugarcoat things or anything like that like I just think that's just really like damaging and it makes people feel um like really isolated and stuff and i think being able to share like your struggles and stuff like that and being as honest as you possibly can about motherhood is only going to help other people and that's something that like i feel quite strongly about so i would i've never even considered like not being open about it all okay i'm gonna finish on one last one which is what is the best thing about being a mum okay where to even begin like i feel like it changes all the time depending on like what's going on with goldie at that moment um but oh, it's just like have like it's just like looking at her and being like i and sam created you like we made you into the little person that you are now and like 
seeing if she looks like me or like Sam and like just seeing her little traits. Like I swear, like she's like sassy already and she's only like five months old. It's that kind of thing. Like it's just so heartwarming and just like, oh God, when she smiles and giggles, like when I wake her up from a nap and she gives me the biggest smile ever and like, when she like nuzzles her head into me. It's just all those like beautiful moments that literally make all the hard moments so worth it. And I just know that as she gets older and she starts doing more and more and you know, once she like starts talking and all that kind of thing, that it's just gonna be even more incredible. It's just, it's just so rewarding. And I just, I don't know, like, just like knowing that like, she is gonna be like with us for like our life and, thinking of all the exciting things that are going to come in the future and just planning like our life around her there's just so much that i love about it there really is it's it's amazing so yeah anyway i'm gonna finish that little q a there i am heading to get my nails done later on when sam gets back which i'm very excited about i've just got a french manicure on at the minute um, which i've really been enjoying so i actually might just get the same again but i also need to go and make some lunch as well and goldie's due to wake up in like 20 minutes or so so i better get cracking but yeah, I think I might actually finish this vlog here because it is so long and it's going to take me forever to edit and forever to upload. So thank you guys so much for watching. As I said, sorry it was quite like unboxing heavy and there was a lot of like stuff to show you. But um, hopefully you guys don't mind and hopefully you enjoyed like the chats in between and stuff. And yeah, I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!